Hi all, this is Lulu, Crafting Anonymous, and today I'm going to show you how to decoupage on a candle, a battery-operated candle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to decoupage and apply a transfer. The transfer I'm going to use is a nativity scene. I have three candles, and I'm going to put the batteries in this one to make sure it works. Yep, it works fine. And so now I'm going to um, apply, start applying my tissue paper once I get that silly little backing on there. There you go. Okay, and see how you'll be able to see through it? So I'm picking a, just a silver tissue paper, tissue paper that you would use like for a package, for a gift. And I, because I thought that the nativity, black nativity scene would look good on that. So I'm just taking my favorite um, medium to use, which is poly, uh, polycrylic. It's Minwax polycrylic. You can use polycrylic, you can use um, Mod Podge, and you can use a watered down white glue. So I've used all three, and I've talked to you about that in other videos. And so what I do is I apply a good amount of the polycrylic on the candle and I want to make sure that I have a good amount and I want to get it into the grooves. The candle I'm choosing is a it's it's got some ridges in it so it's got texture so I want that to show through and you have to really be careful. You see I'm rubbing on there. I shouldn't be. I should be patting it down um, because you don't want it to tear but I'm trying to pat, get it into those grooves. So you apply a liberal amount of the Minwax, the polycrylic, and you pat it down and you just work your way around the candle. And you just wanna make sure that you don't tear it because in this instance, you know in other videos I've showed you that if you tear it, a napkin, it's okay because you can patch it and you won't see. Well, this one, because the candle, the light is shining through it, you're gonna really see any little blip that you make, any mistake that you make. So this is not a forgiving project as far as the using the silver uh, tissue paper. And so once I get that all the way around, which I'm almost there, then um, we'll have to worry about the edges. So on this one, I had a straight edge on the tissue paper so i use that towards the top and i have the the overflow edge on the bottom and so i'll just have to trim that off or i will uh, use a um, emery board or sandpaper to to get that uh, excess off so you just want to make sure that that's all sealed down and it is looking good and you just pat that and I don't have any tears and I'm just going over. Now I'm patting with the end, the tip of the little sponge applicator that you can get bag, a bag of that for a dollar and a quarter at the Dollar Tree. They're different sizes. So those are pretty cool. Um, those rinse out really well and they work really good for these projects. So I am just removing excess from the bottom because it's wet and I am seeing that I do have a couple little tears so I am going to patch those up but what I'll do is I'll put the nativity transfer over the top of it. Now what I'm going to show you is in this video you're going to see um, I'm not covering up any mistakes I make today. This is full transparency because sometimes our projects don't go as planned. We think you have to realize we're all cra um, crafters. A lot of times we just do things on the fly. I've never done this before. I've done the napkin on the candle, but I've never tried to apply a transfer. In it sounds like a good idea. It sounds like it will be beautiful, but we're going to see what happens because uh, I have to tell you this is not going to work out. But Sorry to ruin it, ruin it for you, but watch, let's watch and see why it doesn't work out. So I go ahead and I'm patching up the little areas that tore. There's just a couple of them on the bottom. And what my plan is, is that I'm going to 
turn, I'm going to dry it off a little bit. Um, this is a wax candle, so you don't want to over dry it. Um, if I wasn't doing this video, probably the best thing would be for me to just walk away from it, let it dry, and then uh, finish it up the next day. But because I'm doing this all on camera, I guess I could have also had one ready and, and gone to step two. That would have been a thought if had I planned this. But I just kind of uh, had, just out of the blue, I already had done a project today and I thought, oh, I, I'm not done crafting yet. I have other things I want to do. So um, here we go. So I'm turning it on. I'm seeing where the blip is and I'm going to take the native a third of the nativity scene i'm going to use the part where um one with the three wise men i my plan was to do the two smaller candles with the wise men and then the taller one with the um uh, with the manger scene so i'm drying it just a little bit because it is still wax even though it's battery operated it is still a wax candle on the outside so I'm just giving it a little heat just to dry it and now I'm going to apply the transfer and then rub it and this is where we start going downhill so I found where the little blip is so I put a little one of the wise men over that so you wouldn't be able to see that so that was a good plan that worked out really well so now I'm just getting my little rubbing tool and I'm rubbing the uh, transfer onto the candle. Now I've never done this before so in theory I thought it should work right but um, um, it's I'm just seeing that it's not and as I lift that up a little bit to see if it's starting to stick I'm seeing that uh, the napkins coming apart and so I'm trying to trim the excess sticky part that doesn't have any of the transfer on it off so that's not going to pull up the napkin so I'm rubbing a little more and rubbing a little more and I go to see if it's if the transfer is going adhering to the napkin and I don't know I'm thinking that I probably should have waited and until it was dry maybe it would have worked but it's not working so i'm rubbing and rubbing and i'm trying to maybe if i apply a little heat it might like loosen the transfer and it's not working now if i would have waited till the next day then i would have ruined the candle because it would have all been set but now since it's still fresh i can just go to plan b and i'm going to spray a little bit of water on the candle i've given up i'm not going to do the transfer the paper stuck to the back of the transfer and it's not going to work um, so i'm spraying some water on the candle and i'm rubbing off all the napkin i wanted to see if i could rub it spray it take it off of the transfer but it won't come off so i'm just rubbing the uh, a wet napkin and I'm just rubbing it off so see this is where we can recover from our mistakes and then start all over so I'm just cleaning up all that napkin and it's coming off really nice and not making a huge mess and once that is all cleaned off well, voila, no one will ever know that I messed up on this except you because I have it all pre-recorded <laughs> So there you go. So you're you're in the know. You're you're one step ahead of everybody else. This is my blooper reel. Okay, so now I have this clean camera. Now I have to decide what napkin I want to put on top of it. So I'm just going through some of my holiday napkins, and I've done um, napkins on candles before for you know not necessarily holiday, but since it is Christmas that I'm doing. Uh, decorating for I'm just going to go pick out a Christmas napkin so I have two of the ones that one that's left on the desk there and a little piece of that one so I have enough to do all three of the napkins if I want to do them all the same so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just trim a, the edge up a little just to clean it but I'm going to go ahead and um, decoupage this on 
the candle and I'm going to go over the edge on both so that I can just use a little sandpaper or emery board just to remove it and that's going to be a little easier. So this time this napkin if there were to be any blips or holes this one will be more forgiving as far as fixing it. Now um, this in this one I'm doing a little better job and I'm pouncing instead of um, brushing so that's what you want to do you want to pounce the napkin and just do about an inch an inch and a half at a time pull that napkin down and then use some of the polycrylic on the top side and just pounce it in and that's going to get that where you can see the defined little ridges of the design that's um, on the outside of the napkin so you just keep doing that just like we did on the other one and this one, this goes pretty fast since we're not doing anything fancy. All we're doing is the napkin. So it's really, it's really not going to be bad at all. So we're just uh, spinning it around and um, just getting the whole napkin done. And again, my name is Lulu and this is Crafting Anonymous. And if you're not, uh, haven't, um, subscribe to my channel if you could just click that subscribe button it's free and also if you can give me a thumbs up a like and so subscribe give me a like and also leave me any comments that you have any questions you have or any suggestions for me that would give me you know some help on what I'm doing um, maybe you have some tips that uh, you've tried and and been successful Again, you know, we're just crafters here. We like to just play with different things and and uh, just have some fun. And so if I can show you something new or you can learn from my mistakes, that's what I'm here for. Just here to help. So here we go. We're almost done here. Yep. Look how good that looks. We're just going to go ahead and dry it a little bit. It's all done. And once that's... Once that's um, finished, and I'm just using the emery board a little bit just to remove the bottom edge, and then I'll do the same thing for the top. And if I have any little tears, then I'll just replace a little bit of the napkin with um, the closest piece I can find to it to match it. And it's just it, since it's all wet from the polycrylic that just comes off really nice so we're almost at the end of this and at the top of the intro page you saw the final result I'm going to I have it on a coaster which I'll be painting so that I can you know I'll probably do it in a dark green or red and set it up there maybe put some little greenery around it or something like that so we're almost done this is so simple then you just let it dry and as it dries overnight it's going to th the um, definition it'll sink in a little more so you'll have a good firm definition um, from the uh, candle the texture and it's going to look really nice so this would be like i said a really good gift you could use this give this to a teacher a neighbor uh, bring it to a housewarming, a hostess gift, um, uh, work gift exchange, anything. And uh, you can put this in your bathroom. You can put this in the kitchen. You can put this in your bedroom. Uh, you can do all three and make it a, a table a setting, you know, a, a setting for your table. And just so many possibilities. So it's pretty exciting. So again, my name is Lulu, Crafting Anonymous, and I hope you subscribe to my channel and look for more videos and tutorials that we uh, will have on how to. And as you can see, I'm not perfect, so I'd like to show you some of my, you know, blips that I've had. So we're good to go. Thank you. Okay, here's, let me shut the lights off though before I go and let you see what it looks like. Isn't that look great? You can see right through it. And at the end, I'm gonna show you 
what it looks like on my man on my uh in my living room next to my santa decoration and so here you go have a great day hope you like it